I am done being pregnant. Mommy's gonna buy you a diamond. Even though my due date is June 12th and they're not gonna change it, they think I'm probably maybe like a week ahead of that. So I might be delivering like June 7th or something around there. You know, that last like few weeks is so hard. You're so uncomfortable all the time. I just, I cannot get comfortable. I always hurt, my back hurts, um, I'm restless, and I am just done. I am ready. But I was anxious to look up, even though I might be a little bit more than 34 weeks. It says on my Baby Center app, it says I have, I have 42 days left. The baby is 17 and three quarters inches, and I am, the baby is about four and quarter pounds. And it says, so if the baby was born this week, they usually have no health problems are fine. That's kind of nice that I've made it to that safe spot, 34 weeks, where if I did go into early labor, more often than not, they're going to be okay, not have any big health problems, maybe stay a little bit longer in the neonatal nursery, but other than that, we'll be okay. So that's exciting and a good milestone to get to. Uh, um, it says for my pregnancy system, symptoms, fatigue, yes. Going to the bathroom, yes. I actually should count how many times I go to the bathroom a day. I think that'd be kind of funny. Dizziness, I haven't really had any dizziness. Itchy rashes, haven't had that. More so just the extreme fatigue, not like the fatigue of first trimester, but still pretty bad, just more physically tired. And I think that's just because I'm running after a toddler too. This living room is a disaster and we need to get you changed because you got frosting all over you. Oh no, we're not playing school. She wants to play school now. No, how about at school time, it's cleanup time. We got the house picked up, but now we have a new mess out, which is fine. This is one of her birthday presents. I think this is so cute. It's like this flower growing kit. I've been kind of spacing out some of her birthday presents. She got so many cute little crafts and toys. So we're gonna do that this one this morning. But while we are doing this and she's painting and decorating her planter box, I wanted to talk about something super exciting that has happened in our household. So this little girl now poops on the potty. Do you poop on the potty? Yes, you're such a big girl. I'm so proud of you. So many of you know, we have done a lot of vlogs on this. Potty training has not been easy in this house. We finally got her to pee on the potty, but poop was not happening. And she is now four years old, and I was kind of little, getting a little concerned. Everyone kept telling me it's okay, it'll just happen when it happens. We tried so many things. We would buy certain toys and have them setting out and they could only be open when she pooped on the potty. We tried like incentives, like a sticker chart and she'd get a reward at the end or something. I was researching everything. The most extravagant thing we did was we bought her a little betta fish and put it in the bathroom. We called it her pooping fish. And so it was like her buddy in there. Every time she went to potty, she'd get to see her betta fish. That didn't work out too well, it actually died. Um, three days later. So finally, I was like, I just don't know what to do. Like, it's not working, so I just kind of backed off. Out of nowhere one day, she just wanted to use the potty. And so she did, and it was awesome. And I had already bought this little treasure box I found on Amazon. I filled it up with treats, and I kind of forgotten that I had done that. That was gonna be my next idea of how to get her to potty, so I just went with it, and I let her choose a treat out of there, because she went poop on the potty. And ever since then, it's like this big, fun, exciting thing. She gets to go into the treasure box after pooping. So now, she normally likes to poop on still her small potty. Although she will go on a big potty, she'll even go in public. She's gone in school before, like it's amazing. And it's so funny, every time we're at the pool, I feel like something happens at the pool and she always needs to go poop there. And she will, she'll go in the public potty and go poop there, but she's doing awesome. And you know, I think I've been feeding her a lot more fiber rich foods. You probably saw my previous vlog on that, like some recipes that we use. So I think it's been making it easier, maybe not so painful, not constipated. So it makes it a little bit more easy to poop. And I think that's helped a lot too. In fact, I'll show you all the treasure box that I got. We keep it right in here. And it was actually just kind of made out of cardboard. I had to put it together. And again, I'll put a link in the description below to this. It was super inexpensive off Amazon. And then I just looked up treasure box toys and it just came with a lot of little knickknacks and I threw them all in here and she loves them. I do need to get some more things in here because I think we've gone through everything 
multiple times. <laughs> so probably need to get a few more exciting things, but she loves it. And even if I didn't have the treasure box, I think she'd still be potting, but now she likes it. She likes to choose something from there. I would just say to any moms out there struggling with potty training, don't stress yourself out about it. I felt like Brian and I were starting to get really stressed. Like, oh my gosh, this is never gonna happen. We are making it hard for her. And so it just, Relax, know that it will come. Your child's not gonna go off to college in diapers. It'll happen and just relax and just wait. The ironic thing is I just now get Layla Jane potty trained and now we have a new baby coming. So we're gonna have to do it all over again. Although I feel like the second one's gonna be easier cause she's gonna watch Layla Jane and Layla will be able to help and encourage her too. But I just wanted to share with you our experience and our final finish line. We finally reached there with Layla, how we got Got there and what finally worked for us. So what finally worked for us was just stepping back, giving her some more space, and then this treasure box. I mean, she loves it. And I think it was just all about timing too. She just had to be ready herself. Layla Jane's friend Shiley is over and they are busy face painting and Layla Jane is in her PJ mask mask which she has been obsessed with for about a week now. Oh yes, we're just painting all over ourselves now. No, go look. Oh, okay, I can't look yet. Thank goodness we're doing pool later, so all this will wash off. But we do need to wash all this off. We're going to a birthday party later too, and so maybe we'll need to wash this off. I just got a sushi roll because Brian and I have a challenge going on. I don't know how this started, but one night we were talking about germs and like people double dipping. Fondue, yes. We were talking about how fondue is kind of gross because if you have like the fondue stick and you put a strawberry on it and dip it in the chocolate and then eat the strawberry off of it, if you get some of your saliva on your the fondue stick and then put in another piece of fruit and stick it back in. The chocolate's going on it and getting mixed up and like it's it's kind of gross, it's too germy. And then Brian said there's no way to share sushi without sharing germs too. He says there's no way to pick up one slice of a sushi roll without accidentally touching the others with your chopsticks. So I challenged him and said, yes, it is definitely possible. So we, I went and got a sushi roll right now. This is how competitive we are. And I'm gonna prove to him that I can pick up one single piece without my chopsticks touching any of the others. I'm going to grab one. My chopsticks will not touch any of the others. Can you guys see? Look, I'm even going for the middle one. Ooh, that just slipped off and touched the other one. It so did far. not! It didn't touch anything! Oh no, Shiley. Got it! <coughs> mm-hmm. I'll get mine. Mm-hmm. And you That's couldn't right. get two chopsticks, which ruins the experiment completely. <laughs> Luckily, I'm prepared. Now I'll go ahead and get another one. I want to see you pick up the other one now that it's been sitting, it's broken apart. And I okay. want to make sure that you pick it up without your chopsticks sliding off and touching it. Right, because like I have like my germs oh, on this chopstick, okay. so you don't want to touch any other piece except for the one you're grabbing. That was so easy. I just wanted a sushi roll and this is how I got her to get it. What? <laughs> <laughs> did I, I just get duped? Spicy tuna roll. Yes, you did. <laughs> Do you like it? This is from a new sushi place. And by the way, if you're wondering, I did spit out the sushi roll. I did not eat raw fish while pregnant. I know better. So just so you know, I spit it out. Okay, now we can't ignore this anymore. What is going on? Layla, let me see those hands, girl. So literally just found out right now the birthday party we were gonna go to is canceled because the girl got sick. So I'm gonna let Layla Jane paint my face. We have this cute little face painting kit and it's just the gift that keeps on giving. It is a big mess, but keeps her very busy. Oh, I just put my mask on too? I guess I'm gonna be Alette and I'll do the stars right here maybe. Oh, a Christmas tree. Kind of not very appropriate for now, but that's okay. Well, I guess you can do it on my my hand. Oh my, right there? Okay. Oh, thank you. I am good to, oh, is it red because I'm out wet? Hi. Makes sense. Thank you. You're welcome. I guess we're going off to the pool early today to wash off, although mine already kind of came off. Oops, all my red, although I do have my stars still. And I just realized I really don't have a maternity swimsuit. Maybe I'll just go in a shirt. I'm not one of those women that like likes to bear my 
pregnant stomach. I'm like a little shy about that. <laughs> um, so I wish I had like a one piece maternity swimsuit, but I only have like a month left, but I guess it is getting that time of the year. So I better go get one. So I have a swimsuit so I can jump in the pool for this last month before the baby comes. But thank you again for watching and we'll see y'all next time. Bye.